Uh, hello everybody, welcome to this uh, massive open online course on solid fluid operations. So, uh, in this lecture we will discuss about the degree of mixing and its assessment. In the previous lecture we are uh, discussing about the mechanism of mixing as well as what are the different equipments those are being used for getting intense mixing between uh, solids uh, of different types and of uh, different uh, sizes. Here we will uh, try to understand uh, what are the mechanism based on which we can you know assess the uh, degree of mixing that means how much mixing has happened some quantitative analysis to be done and also how to analyze the rate of mixing and there will be a certain uh, you know parameter based on which that we can analyze the mixing it is called mixing index that also will be discussing here. So, uh, as we know that the performance of the industrial mixer that is determined by the degree of mixing that means how much mixing is happened or intensity of the mixing sometimes it is called what is the effectiveness of the mixing and that can be assessed by some mixing index that we will be discussing. And based on the concept of that random distribution of the material as we know that whenever materials will be mixed the mechanism is that there will be I think three mechanism that we are discussing about that one is called you know diffusion by diffusion that mixing happened by shear that diffusion happened by uh, you know that uh, convection uh, that mixing happened. So, due to that convection or shear or diffusion we can say that this uh, distribution of the particles that is happened randomly in a, a mixer. So, because of which we can say that there will be certain degree of mixing. Okay, and based on which we will assess that what will be the that effectiveness or degree of mixing the uh, mixer. And uh, that is determined by you know analysis of a number of spot samples that will be collected from the mixer. If you are having certain amount of mixer, mixer output like you know that in a uh, mixing equipment you are mixed uh, different types of solid materials. And after certain operations if you take out some amount of sample from that uh, mixer outlet or equipment outlet and then if you analyze it and that analysis can be done by you know that uh, segregating or you can say that making that n number of a spot sample on a uh, uh, spot sample of that you know uh, outlet mixer output. So, uh, in that case uh, uh, from that you know uh, number of spot samples that will be collected from that mixer that will be analyzed. Now, if you consider a solid mixer in which a tracer material is added which does not react with the other materials in the sample. Now, question is that some tracer materials to be added there because uh, you know that uh, based on that analysis of tracer material in the mixer you will be able to analyze how much or what extent of mixing happened there. So, that is why some you know tracer materials which will not be reacting with the other materials will be added before mixing uh, those you know materials by mixer. So, in that case a solid mixer in which a tracer material to be added that will not be reacting with the other materials in the sample. Now, if you take the number of samples let it be denoted by capital N and it will be taken randomly from the various locations of the mixer here. See here this is a mixer in the picture it is shown and from this uh, mixer you are taking different uh, spot samples like you know given like this, this type of different uh, samples we are collecting. So, here n number of uh, small samples will be taken out from this mixer. After that you have to determine the fraction of tracer x i in each samples of i. Suppose if you are taking the samples i from this nth samples you can say in that case uh, you just you know uh, measure what will be the fraction of that tracer material out of this. So, if, if you are considering this sample now in this case you will see that out of suppose 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 out of 7 2 are uh, you know tracer materials or you can make it a mass fraction you can take it as a number fractions ok, but number fractions sometimes is very difficult, but you can take it a mass fractions after segregating this you know tracer material from this spot sample. So, determine the fraction of tracer x i in each small samples i and also you can measure 
what will be the average concentration of uh, sample of that you know tracer material that can be denoted by x bar. So, average value of the measured concentration is x bar that means here you will see that what is the average concentration that is x bar that means x i there are suppose x different spot samples you are getting the different you know concentration of the tracer material. So, out of that total mixture what will be the average concentration of that tracer material that will be a x bar. So, here let the overall average fraction of tracer in the mixture as mu, mu is what is that total average concentration. Whereas, you will see that in uh, spot samples in each spot samples may not be that x bar will be same. So, x bar will be different from different n number of spot samples ok, n number of spot samples. So, here if you are considering this spot samples here average concentration is x bar, here also x bar, here also x bar, here also x bar, but overall overall concentration of the tracer material will be is equal to mu. So, if n tends to vary less, suppose if you are taking n number of samples 100 more than 100, 200, 500 if you increase the number of spot samples taking then you will see that that average value of measured concentration that is x bar will be almost equals to the overall average fraction of tracer in the mixer that is mu. That means, here if n tends to very large x bar tends to mu otherwise x bar will be different for different samples ok. So, this you have to remember. So, here basically we are getting what there are you know material 1 and material 2 which will be mixed along with that tracer material ok and then after mixing you are taking that mixer sample here and out of that mixer you are taking n number of spot samples in each spot samples what will be the average concentration of that tracer material that may be different for different n number of spot samples. But if you are considering n number of that means, if you increase the number of spot samples taking then your x bar will be tends to mu which is called overall average fraction of the tracer in the mixer which is denoted by mu ok. So, I think you understood this portion and then what you have to do you have to calculate that standard deviation ok. Now, if solids were perfectly mixed every measured value of x i would be equal to x bar. Now, x i may not be equal to x bar because there is not perfectly mixed solids. If the mixing is not complete the measured value of x i will differ from x bar. And suppose if there is a you know uniform mixing that means, everywhere mixing happened uniformly then you can say that x i and x bar almost will be same and also mu that is overall concentration also will be same average concentration. The standard deviation about the average value of x bar will be a measure of degree of or quality of mixing. So, what is the deviation standard deviation? Standard deviation that means, what will be the deviation from the x bar average value of that concentration with the sample concentration x i. And if you make it square and then summation of for all n number of spot samples and divided by n minus 1 then you will get this standard deviation which is defined by this equation which is denoted by s. The value of s is a relative measure actually of mixing which will be valid only for test of a specific material in a specific you know mixer. And x bar, x bar is the average concentration which can be you know measured or which can be estimated by this taking number of you know x i that means, concentration of that tracer for n number of spot samples and summation after that if you divide it by its number of samples you will get that mean or average value of that concentration of tracer material. So, here standard deviation is you will see that diminishes towards 0 as mixing proceeds. So, here this standard deviation if suppose the mixing tends to complete mixing then the standard deviation will diminishes towards to 0 ok. And so, low value of this standard deviation will give you the good mixing you know indication. So, this is the main you know uh, concept of that analysis of this you know mixing ok or degree of mixing. There are other way to analyze this mixing 
that is called mixing index. You will see that various statistical measures that are independent of amount of tracer. In this case, Hanby et al 1997, they have introduced a mixing index to quantify the degree of mixing. That mixing index, it is generally or uh, they have considered for pests. So, the mixing index for pests, they have given the definition as I p will be equal to sigma 0 by s that will be equal to root over n minus 1 into mu into 1 minus mu by summation of i to n 1 to n that is x i minus x bar whole square. Here in this case sigma 0 what is that sigma 0? The sigma 0 is basically that when there is a standard deviation at 0 mixing will be calculated that can be considered as a sigma 0 that means standard deviation at 0 mixing and the index is the reciprocal of the ratio of that s. S is what is that? It is not that 0 mixing, there will be certain extent of mixing will be there. So, the ratio of these you know 0 mixing that means standard deviation at the 0 mixing and the standard deviation at the mixing at a certain time you will see that will be regarded as a mixing index for the paste. Where sigma 0 that means that standard deviation at 0 mixing can be calculated by this you know equation that is called root over mu into 1 minus mu. What is mu? Mu is called that overall average fraction of tracer in the mixer. So, before mixing has begun the material in the mixer that exists as two layers one of which contains no tracer and one of which contains all tracers. Under this condition it is called zero mixing. So, at that zero mixing condition we can have this zero mixing uh, at its standard condition will be equal to root over mu into 1 minus mu. So, the mixing index for pH will be equal to I p which can be defined by this equation. Okay. Now, in this case you will see that interesting point here that in any bias mixing the mixing index I p is unity at the start. That means, when mixing will not happen at the very beginning we can say that I p will be equal to what is that is 1 and higher the value of mixing index will you know indicate the higher mixing and the mixing index would become infinite at long mixing time. Of course, for infinite time if you allow to mix those materials your mixing index will be infinite. That means, here mixing of the solid materials will give you the better you know mixed or you can say intensity of the mixing or degree of mixing will be higher. Okay. So, it depends on time how much you are allowing it to mix. The mixing index falls within a range of 10 to 150 generally it is seen that from the experiment that mixing index will be you know ranging between 10 to 150. The rate of mixing as measured by the rate of change of IP. Now, wha how then what will be the rate of mixing? Rate of mixing can be you know calculated based on the change of this IP with respect to time. So, at initial condition it will be 1 that means there will be no mixing whereas, if you increase the time or mixing with respect to time if you increase if you allow the mixing with respect to time more time you are allowing then in that case mixing index will be increasing. So, this increasing rate of IP with respect to time will be regarded as a rate of mixing. Okay. And of course, it depends on the kind of mixer, it depends on the nature of materials okay, either this you know sticky materials or you know dry materials those characteristics of that materials will you know will change this you know IP value that means mixing index value with respect to time. Now, let us uh, do an example for this suppose a loose soil containing 14 percent moisture was mixed in a large Mueller mixer. We have discussed earlier that what is the Mueller uh, mixer with average 10 weight percent of a tracer consisting of dextrose that means tracer material here is dextrose and picric acid. After 3 minute of mixing 12 random samples were taken from the mix and analyzed calorimetrically for tracer material. The measured concentration in the sample 
where in weight percent tracer is 10.24, 9.30, 7.94, 10.24, 9.30, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 7.94, 
how many particles of coal, how many particles of sand. So, what will be the fraction? That means, here n sand if you are considering sand particle concentration or fraction say n uh, sand divided by n sand plus n coal. So, it will be your fraction n fraction ok. This is your concentration that is x n you can say or some x i is equal to say. So, n s by n s plus n c in this way. So, suppose the fraction of sand in each spot sample is determined by counting particles of its kind. Let the overall fraction by number of particles of sand, here we are considering sand which is mixed with other type of material in the total mixer be mu. So, overall fraction is mu as per earlier concept and then if small n is a, is a small that is say about 100, the measured fraction x i of sand in each sample will not always be same even when the mix is completely and perfectly blended. Thus, for any given size of spot sample, there is a theoretical standard deviation for a completely random mixture. This standard deviation can be represented by you know sigma r. So, in this case, you see that for any given size of spot sample, there should be a certain theoretical standard deviation if you have a completely random mixture there. So, that standard deviation can be denoted by sigma r. So, sigma r can be you know defined by this sigma r is equal to root over mu into 1 minus mu by n, where mu is equal to overall mixture fraction of particular solid in the mixture. Here particular solids like sand out of sand and coal mixture and small n is the average number of particles in each spot sample, capital N is the number of spot samples. So, for granular solids the mixing index is defined as here I G S. G s means granular solids. So, I g s mixing index of granular solids that will be equal to sigma r by s. Instead of paste they are you know sigma 0 by s here sigma r by s. Here random sample here not 0 mixing here at a particular time what will be that sigma r by s. So, this will be equal to mu into 1 minus mu into n minus 1 divided by n small n summation of i is equal to 1 to n into x i minus x bar whole square. So, in this case you can calculate what will be the mixing index for granular solids where s is defined by this equation and average value of x that will be defined by this summation of x i by n ok. So, here suffix g s is basically the granular solids ok, granular solids and then uh, mixing index at 0 time. What is that mixing index at 0 time. The equilibrium standard deviation for complete mixing sigma r is used as a reference with granular solids. With paste the reference is the standard deviation at 0 mixing sigma 0. Before mixing begins the mixing index at 0 mixing that is called mixing index at 0 time which is defined by this equation. So, it will be for the granular solids what will be the mixing index at 0 time that is i g s 0 that will be equal to sigma r by sigma here 0 that will be equal to what 1 by root over n. What is the rate of mixing? You will see that whenever you are getting some mixing index that mixing index will be changing with respect to time. So, here in mixing as in other rate processes the rate is proportional to the driving force in that case the mixing index i g s is a measure of how far mixing has proceeded toward equilibrium that is with respect to time it will come. For short mixing times the rate of change of i g s is directly proportional to 1 minus i g s or it can be written as like this. So, it is for a short period of time what will be the rate of change of i g s. So, this i g s which is changing with respect to time that will be proportional to the 1 minus i g s that means 1 minus how much you know materials will not be you know mixed in that mixer that is proportional. So, here d i g s by d t that will be equal to k into 1 minus i g s where k is constant here the equilibrium value of i g s is 1. So, you will see that the i g s will be changing with respect to time once upon a time you will see that this mixing will be uniform in that case the mixing index will not be changed with respect to time. So, that is your 
equilibrium condition. That means, here certain time you will see that this mixing index will be like this. Here with respect to time there will be no change of you know i g s with respect to time. So, here it will be your equilibrium condition. Okay. So, here this is your equilibrium time. So, k is a constant here the equilibrium value of i g s is 1 here it will be 1 and therefore, the driving force for mixing at any time can be considered to be a 1 minus i g s. Here you will see that with rearranging and integrating this equation okay, we can get within it you know time limits 0 to t then here it will be coming as you know the mixing index at 0 time to the mixing index at a time t. So, after rearranging we can get this equation and then integrating with this time limit we are having t will be is equal to what 1 by k ln 1 minus i g s 0 by 1 minus i g s or you can substitute the value of i g s 0 here what is the i g s 0 i g s 0 is equal to sigma r by sigma 0 that will be equal to 1 by root over n. So, after substitution of this i g s 0 here you can get this equation after simplification 1 by k into ln into 1 minus 1 by root over n divided by 1 minus i g s. So, this is your rate of mixing. So, once you know what will be the i g s at a particular time then you can easily calculate what will be the rate constant. And also if you know that rate constant and the mixing index at a particular time and then you know number of you know particles in a granular samples then you will be able to calculate what will be the time required to get that extent of degree of mixing. Okay. Now, let us do an example here an experimental data on the rate of mixing of sand and salt particles here sand and salt particles in an air fluidized bed is given below. That means, in a fluidized bed the mixing happened between salt and sand particles. In each run the initial charge to the reactor was 254.4 gram of salt on top of 300 gram of sand. That means, here you will see that mixing happens initially 254.4 gram of salt with the 300 gram of sand. The average number of particles in each spot sample was 500 and the mixing time was 45 seconds. That means, after 45 seconds of mixing the average number of particles in each spot sample was 500. Now, you have to find out how long will it take for the mixing index to reach 0 0.95. In the table it is given that number of fraction of sand in spot samples are like this here. Okay. So, how many here samples 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Here you know 20 samples are taken. So, out of this 20 sample after completion of 45 second of mixing you are getting the average you know number of particles in a spot will be 500. After mixing time of 45 you are getting this you know average. So, how long it will take to get this mixing index to reach 0 0.95 here it is not 0 0.95 here no higher it, it is reached to 0 0.95 of that you know mixing index. So, to get that mixing index how long it will take whereas, some samples will give you this data like 45 seconds after that you are getting that average number of particles is 500. Okay. So, in this case now in this case you have to find out time that is t is equal to what t is equal to 1 by k is equal to ln 1 minus 1 by root over n by 1 minus i g s and then mu is equal to overall average fraction of salt in the mixer is 254.4 by 254.4 plus 300 that will be equal to 0 0.46 mu value. And then x bar will be equal to summation of x i by n that is 0 0.505 and i g s is equal to sigma r by s that means root over mu into 1 minus mu into n minus 1 divided by n to summation of i is equal to 1 to n to x i minus x bar whole square this is your definition of i g s. So, i g s value is 0 0.0710 okay. and uh, here 45 it is given to you this time value is given 45 
and then uh, uh, from this uh, 45 seconds value you have to calculate what will be the value of you know k others are given to you. So, k will be equal to this then you have to find out what will be the time this k is constant it is not varying. So, for this k value if you again substitute this k value here and i g value as 0 0.95 and n is equal to 500 then you will get the time of you know mixing to get the mixing index of 0 0.95 it is coming 4759 seconds ok. I think you understood this problem. Next uh, let us consider some other analysis of that uh, mixing which is you know some uh, you know limits based on that you know variance. So, based on the theoretical limits of variance we can analyze the different you know that uh, way of analysis of mixing phenomena of that solid materials. Now, if you consider that for a two component system the theoretical upper and lower limits of a mixer variance is upper limit of that variance is sigma 0 square that will be equal to mu into 1 minus mu where the completely segregated samples that means there will be no mixing whereas lower limit the randomly mixed that is sigma r square that means randomly mixed you can say so it will be mu into 1 minus mu by n where mu and 1 minus mu are the fractions of two components that will be determined from samples and here n is the number of particles in each sample. So, actual values of mixer variance will be lying between these two extreme values here. So, this is the upper limit and lower limit of you know mixing that means where completely segregated that means there will be no mixing in that case sigma 0 square and for lower limit where randomly mixed it will be sigma r square. Now, another you know mixing index which will be depending on this upper limit and lower limit value that is defined by or that is given by Lacy 1954. In that case you know Lacy defined that mixing index that is called Lacy mixing index. So, Lacy mixing index is defined as I L that will be equal to sigma 0 square minus S square by sigma 0 square minus sigma R square. So, here this is the lower limit and this is the upper limit ok. This is upper limit and this is lower limit. So, in between there will be some you know mixing. So, that is represented by this you know Lacy mixing index where sigma 0 square is equal to mu into 1 minus mu and sigma r square is equal to mu into 1 minus mu by n which is defined earlier and s is the standard deviation at a time when that mix will be happen up to a certain degree. So, here this s now a Lacy mixing index if it comes 0 that will represent that complete segregation that will there will be no mixing and a value of unity will give you that completely random mixer. So, your objective is to find that completely random mixing and which will be you know that around 1 ok. So, from this Lacy mixing index you are getting the value between 0 and 1. So, if it is coming near about 0 then you can say that the mixing will be you know good ok or you can say completely random mixing there. Practical values of this mixing index however, are found to lie in the range of 0 0.75 to 1. Another uh, you know uh, way to assess that mixing that is called Poulet et al mixing index ok. So, further mixing index suggested by Poulet et al which is defined as you know Poulet mixing index P double O L E Poulet mixing index that is I P O that is S by sigma R. So, this index gives better discrimination for practical mixers and a process unity for completely random mixers. So, here S is defined by earlier already you have given this S is defined by this equation and sigma R is also defined by this equation ok. So, from this you have to substitute this value and get the I P O. So, I P O value if it comes near about 1 then you can get that completely random mixing ok. So, I think you understood the basic you know understanding how to assess the mixing of solids ok by theoretical analysis 
based on you know that statistical value whether it is the random distribution or not whether this you know standard deviation will give you that you know lower value or not if standard standard deviation give you lower value then you will get that you know better mixing and other you know parameters for assessing that mixing it is called Poulet mixing index, Lassie index, uh, mixing index and also other uh, mixing index it is called you know here we have uh, got that granular mixing index that is called IGS and also we have you know uh, define or we have learned about that you know mixing index like IP for paste. So, these are the different you know uh, mixing index value based on which you can say uh, whether the solid mixing will be intense or not. So, I think uh, it will be helpful for assessing that mixing index and if you uh, go through that examples you will better understand this. So, thank you for your uh, concentration and the next lecture we will try to discuss more about this mixing and agitation of fluids and slurries and they are also what are the different mechanism of that mixing of fluid and slurries there. So, thank you have a nice day.